Hey guys, what's going on? Adam from Tech Exotics. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a fantastic day, night, whatever time it is for you, wherever you are in the world. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It obviously means a lot to me and you can win a pastel banana uh, ball python if we get to 2,500 subscribers uh, in good time. Um, so in today's video, guys, I'm going to, well, I'm going to start off by saying I'm, I'm really peed off, to be fair. I'm really angry at myself because... Um, I filmed a uh, egg cutting video, but I'd done it on my new phone because I wanted to see um, you know, what the quality was like and things like that. And when I come to upload it, to edit it, uh, it didn't like the file. And I couldn't, for the life of me, because I'm not technically gifted, guys, uh, to work out how to change the file type and this, that, and the other to be able to do it. So I couldn't use uh, the egg cutting footage. So I do apologize for that. Um, so I'm going to show you the babies uh, now after they've uh, come out of the egg. They haven't shed yet, so they're you know they're not looking 100% their best. Um, obviously, I'll update you guys as time goes on. Um, but this was the pastel to the leopard firefly pairing. If you remember, follow me on Instagram, you'll see that really wacky, whacked out pattern pastel leopard that I created created like on god that i produced last season uh so this was a repeat pairing to see if i can get anything funky again um and i've got some good stuff so i'm going to show you that now uh, and go through them one by one and i'll let you know what i'm keeping and what i'm not so guys here we have and i do apologize about the glare i just can't get away from that at the moment um let me just come out of here a bit there you go so here we have just a straight leopard female um, nothing too crazy about this one, just a standard sort of looking leopard, really, really black blacks um, and a typical leopard pattern. Uh, now this was the only female from the clutch, um, three eggs, uh, it's the only female. Um, already this one has been sold, um, a chap put a deposit down on her um, the other day, um, so obviously once she's up to size uh, and once she's smashing her food, she would be available uh, to go to her new home. So I was quickly sex her on camera. I do uh, sex these a few times. So yeah, that's a female. Love leopard. Even the single gene leopard stuff is just gorgeous. So that will make um, the guy that bought her very happy, I hope. Absolutely stunning. Love the leopard gene. And just... Uh, just sort of a bit peed off really that the lighting is so so naff in here. Um but it is what it is. Maybe I need to get some sort of light box to put them in just to take the glare off the actual light on the ceiling. Um but yeah, hopefully you can see um see her well enough to sort of appreciate how beautiful that is. So let's see if we can zoom in a bit on her. There we go. So yeah, that's for you buddy, female leopard. So guys, this is the next one from that clutch, um, and yeah, absolutely crazy, right? What a wacky pattern uh, this little boy has. Uh, yeah, and this is a boy, um, let me zoom back out, uh, what I'm thinking this is, um, Obviously the pairing was the pastel to the leopard firefly. Uh, there's not leopard in this, although it has got a really funky pattern, but that's not your typical leopard pattern. Um, so I'm confident that there's no leopard in that whatsoever. Um, so what I'm guessing this is, is a superfly. Um, the only thing it really can be is a firefly or a superfly. Um, but, you know, I've hatched fireflies, many fireflies, and this one is just absolutely crazy. Um, so I, I definitely think this is a super pastel fire. Um, what's creating this wacky blushed out pattern? Um, you know, and all, look, it's just incredible. Look at the markings on this animal, especially around here. Absolutely insane. Um, now this is a male. I haven't, if I'm honest, um, fully decided what I'm doing with this boy. Um, I'm trying to work out in my head whether I actually need him. Um, what I could put him to um, and things like that, what I could upgrade um, using him. Um, now the Leopard Firefly boy, you know, he's not going anywhere um, because he just creates some funky, funky looking animals. 
um, as I'm sure you can agree when you look at this stunning, stunning bit of living art. Um, really, really happy with this one. Probably one of the favourites I've produced, to be fair. It's just such an incredible looking animal. Look at that head. Super blushed out. So yeah, guys, I'm really confident that that is a super fly, so a super pastel fire. Uh, and I will probably end up keeping him, um, but, you know, who knows. Really, really chuffed with this one. Absolutely stunning. If you are interested in this one, do let me know. Um, because I say, you know, I haven't quite decided what I'm doing yet. Uh, and if you want to be um, sort of first on the list, then sort of get your... Um, name into me um, sooner rather than later because it will be a first come first serve obviously they haven't shed yet so they're going to look even better once they've shed absolutely incredible so a male superfly So guys, last but no, by no means least, we have this incredible animal here. Again, this is a male. Again, I'm not sure I want to keep it or not, although I probably should. Um, now, this is what I'm thinking is a super pastel leopard. Um, because, you know, like I said with fireflies, I've produced so many fireflies. Um, and this looks just so much different. Look at that intense silver blushing down the dorsal, which is telling me the super pastel is involved uh, and the head um, really really black borders around um, those saddles uh, and look at that pattern that's just incredible pattern um, now some people well one person has said he doesn't think that this is a super pastel um, leopard but I really don't know what else it can be because I really don't think it is a firefly if it is a firefly guys it's probably the best firefly in the world put it that way um, because, like I said, I've produced many fireflies, um, and this one really isn't a firefly. Um, obviously, a firefly leopard. I love this. This looks like a little man, a little alien man. Two arms holding up his guns, two little legs. <laughs> it looks incredible. Look at that. Absolutely incredible. Um, wow. I could stare at this all day. Look at that pattern. And that insane blushing. It's telling me it's super pastel. It really is telling me it's super pastel. But, um, you know, one guy said it wasn't because he's produced some super pastel leopards and they look nothing like this. But I don't know what else it can be if it's not that. Let me know what you guys think. Um, I'm really interested to see um, and hear what you guys think it could be. So I'm confident it is. But, you know, I've been wrong many a time. I don't mind being wrong. Um... I don't mind you telling me I'm wrong, as long as you do it in a, a polite way. But absolutely incredible. This is a male. And like I said, I'm not sure I'm going to keep him or not. Um, I probably will, just because it looks incredible. And I can't wait till all these shed out. Absolutely incredible. So we'll get um, the siblings out as well, just so they can you can see what they all look like together. Um, and I'm sure you can agree that that leopard firefly that I've got produces some incredible, um, just simply stunning animals. So that is the clutch of goodness. Um, so we obviously hit two leopards and uh, leopard in two of them, uh, and what I think is a superfly uh, in the third. Um, so they're the two males, and this one is the female, which I said is sold. Um, so if you guys are interested in these two, do let me know anyway. Although I, I definitely think I'm going to keep um, this one um, over that one. But you never know. I might change my mind. Um, but yeah, I really hope you enjoyed that. Um, I'm really sorry I couldn't do the egg cutting video. Um, so I have got a video on my phone. Um, I just can't, for some reason, get it onto my editing software to... Um, upload it so I'm really sorry about that uh, and I think I'll just carry on using this camera that I'm using now for my egg cuttings um, but yeah so these guys are all in a tub together um, oh, I just can't stop looking at that it's absolutely incredible um, so these are in a tub together and they stay there till they shed out um, I know last video I said that I'm going to try something different and 
um, put them in individual tubs straight away. Um, but I'm going to make use of the bigger tubs that I've got, which is which is these four litre rubs, damp paper towel, uh, and see how they get on. Um, but yeah, I mean, I really can't. I find myself coming in here all the time, just staring at this animal. Absolutely incredible. Absolutely incredible. So guys, I hope you enjoyed looking at those incredible babies. I mean, I keep looking at them and looking at them. Every time I come in here to do something, I find myself stopping, sitting down, getting those out, and just staring at them. I can't wait until they shed out. <sighs> anyway, guys, let me know what you think below of what I think could be the Super Pastel Leopard. Let me know if you think the same cows. Although, I can't think what else, and I don't think there's any other genes at play. Um, at least it hasn't proven out from past seasons, if that makes sense. Um, but I don't know. I, I really don't know. Um, guys, let me know what you think below. Uh, great to communicate with you and interact. But I hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, I've got more coming very soon uh, of some more awesome babies that are hatching here at TA. Uh, really exciting for me. Um, Favourite time of year, obviously. Uh, so guys, thanks for your support. You guys are absolutely amazing, as always. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video over there with Brian Gundy. Uh, I've got some more collaborations coming on the way, so stay tuned for that. But make sure you hit the notification bell so you don't get to miss them. Um, so enjoy whatever you're doing today, tonight, whatever time of day it is, wherever you are. I'll see you soon. Take care.